Hello, my name is Helen Rockcliffe and my area of expertise is emotion regulation. Now the story that I feel needs to be told is that science doesn't have the answer to human happiness, but that it can show us where to look. I, don't, I can't really do this justice in 90 seconds, but I just want to share with you one tiny piece of the puzzle. And this is one of the things that we're helping um, IVF patients reduce their stress levels with. So this is the brain. Uh, this is one tiny part of the brain, which we're going to call the threat system. Now this system has evolved to detect threats in our environment and to respond appropriately to them with particular defensive emotions. So things like anxiety, anger, fear, disgust, this kind of thing. Now, one of the problems for humans is that we have a really good imagination. So this threat system isn't only responding to what's happening here and now, it can also be stimulated by our vivid imagination about what's going to happen tomorrow, what happens if we fail the test, what happens if we crash the car, what happens if our kids don't come home, all these kinds of things. So we can quite easily find ourselves really wound up and in a state of almost permanent stress. Now, nature has provided us with an off switch for this, but it's not something that we're, we're generally very good at using, or not all people are very good at using. So what we're asking patients to do is to practice stimulating this affiliative system. Now this system is sensitive to signals of care in our community, so things like eye contact and smiles and touch. And we can use our imagination to stimulate this system, which is nature's natural off switch for stress.